Greetings to all our value clients. Welcome to GCAPEX Prime Analysis and Education YouTube channel. This is Alan Ho, market analyst of GCAPEX Prime. I'm gonna share my daily analysis for Friday, 11th of August in this video. So first of all, let's review the major market movement. The first instruments we are referring to the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a straight bets basket of six major currencies. So it was held steady against the other major currencies on Thursday, it, uh, floats around 93.38 as the release of disappointing US producer price inflation and jobless claims reports continue to wait and as investors turn their attention to additional US inflation data due on Friday. It. So the US Commerce Department states producer price in uh, inflation and its core reading both unexpectedly declined last month. In addition, the US Department of Labor said initial jobless claim increased unexpectedly in the week ending August 5th. So the reports came after a series of upbeat US employment reports had filled expectations that the Federal Reserve will stick to its plans for a third interest rate hike this year. While the Japanese yen was lost some steam but remained supported, with the pair USD JPY slid 0.6% to 109.41 and is just off Wednesday two month low of 109.56 as the heightened tensions between the US and North Korea have sparked a flight to safety. So North Korea state uh, media said on Thursday that Pyongyang will develop a plan by mid of August to launch an uh, intermediate range missile as the US territory of Guam. So the comments came after US President Donald Trump said earlier in the week that North Korea would be met with fire and fury if it continued its threat. On the other hand, the Kiwi was dropped sharply on Thursday with the pair and exactly USD tumbled 1.19% to 0.7279 after a widely expected move. The R Reserve Bank of New Zealand left the interest rates unchanged at 1.75% on Thursday but added that it still expects inflation to rise gradually. So the Reserve Bank of New Zealand's governor, Graeme Wheelers, said monetary policy will remain accommodative for a while and that the Kiwi had risen since the last monetary policy statement in May partly in response to a weaker US dollars. So Will added that a lower New Zealand dollar would help increase inflation and achieve more balanced growth. Having a tight in commodities markets, the gold price was jumped to two month highs on Thursday, uh, rose $11.41 or 0.89% to $1,290.69 a try ounce as the geopolitical tensions between the US and North Korea remain while a door of disappointing US economic reports weighed on the dollars and there was lifting demand for the precious metals. So risk aversions continue for the second day in a row, lifting the demand for the safe haven gold and the day after North Korea said it was carefully examining a plan to strike Guam where a US military base is located. So the release of inflation and initial jobless claim data failed to offset the flight to safety as both reports under short expectations, stocking uncertainty over the Federalist of ability to raise interest rates later this year. As for the oil price, the crude price settled lower on Thursday with the West Texas Intermediate price settled at $49.59 a barrel as the market participants questions OPEC's commitment to the global pack to curb production in the wake of a report showing crude output among the group's members rose in July. So in a monthly report of Thursday, the organizations of the petroleum exporting countries raised its outlook for oil demand this year by 100,000 barrels a day, saying it now expects a growth of 1.37 million barrels a day in 2017. So the cartels also said, however, the productions from the group rose further in July as exam producers Nigeria and Libya and top exporter Saudi Arabia increased their output. So these export uh, OPEC reports stoke fears that the OPEC and its allies may not be able to stem the glut in the, in the supplies by only coping productions and offset 
setting the optimism from the previous sessions when crude price snapped a two-day losing streak following the bullish U.S. inventory data. So now we're gonna review the highlighted economic data and event that released on yesterday as well as the focus data and events for today. So yesterday, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand was decide its latest interest rate decisions and it was as expected at 1.75%. So besides that, the United Kingdom was released its manufacturing production for June and it was at 0% growth, slightly better than previous, uh, which is at negative 0.1%. So, uh, during the Europe, uh, United States trading hours on yesterday, the US was released the producer price index for July and it is slightly disappointed compared to the focus of 0.1%. The result was at negative 0.1%. So as for today, United States is going to release the core consumer price index for July and other inflation data and it is expected to be better than the previous with 0.2% forecast. So. The last data tonight is the US bigger huge oil rig counts, right? So, uh, which expected to bring impact to the crude price. Now, let's take a look for the technical analysis. So, the first instruments we are referring to the GBP USD in 4 hour chart. So, the pair GBP USD is remains traded uptrend but currently is still retracing following the dive cross that formed by the both moving earth line previously. So a price closure below 1.29200 is a signal for shifting trend directions to become downtrends. Um, so the next target or support level we can refer to 1.27300. Otherwise, a price closure above 1.30300 suggested to continue its uptrends and move further higher towards the next target of resistance level at 1.31000. As for the Euro, the pair EUR-USD in the 4 hourly charts remain traded in an uptrend but seems like losing momentum so it is expected to be ranging between 1.17200 and 1.18000 for short terms so a price closure out of the range is a signal to move further towards the uh, directions. So next resistance level we can refer to 1.18800 and the support level we can refer to 1.16100. So referring to those indicators the both moving average line was form a dive cross above and as well as the MSCD the both movement line was um, crossed from bottoms and pointing upward now so the momentum is growing above the level of zero so these are the signals for it to move slightly higher in short term As for the Kiwi, the pair NZD uh, traded against the US dollar in remain in a downtrend, so a price closure below 0.72500 suggested for it to continue its downtrends and move further lower towards the next target of support level at 0.72100. Otherwise, a price closure above 0.73300 suggested to experience a short-term retracement period and the next target of resistance levels we can refer to 0.7. 73600. As for the Aussie, so the AOD USD remain traded in an uptrend as well, but currently is still retracing, so a price closure below 0.78100 is the signal for shifting trend directions to become downtrends and expected to move further lower towards the next target of support level at 0.77600. So otherwise, closures above 0.78800 suggest that to continue its uptrends. And the next target we can refer to uh, uh, 0.79400 as the resistance level. While the Japanese yen traded against the US dollar remained in a downtrend, so a price closure below 108.900 is a signal for it to move further lower towards the next target of support level at 108.200.
as for the commodities markets, due to the risk aversion momentum, the gold price remained traded in an uptrend, so a price closure above 1289.00 suggested to move further higher towards the next target of resistance level at 1295.00. And the last instruments we're referring to the West Texas Intermediate Crude Oil Price. So it is currently in an uptrend but seems like losing momentum. So a closure below 48.2 signals to experience a short term retracement period and are expected to move lower towards the next target of support level at 47.1. Otherwise, closure above 50.30 suggested to continue its uptrend and move further higher towards the next target of resistance level at 51. That's all for my analysis to date. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the GCAPX Prime logo on the screen in order to follow our updated analysis and education video. Thank you for watching. GKFX, your global trading partner.